In the vast expanse of the cosmos, where celestial wonders abound, a recent discovery has captivated astronomers and stargazers alike. WOH G64, a star of unprecedented size, stands as the largest known star, defying imagination and challenging our understanding of the universe. Imagine a star so immense it could engulf entire planetary systems. This revelation not only sparks scientific curiosity, but also reignites our sense of wonder about what lies beyond our tiny blue planet. Embark on a journey through the story of WOH G64, where the ordinary rules of size and scale are shattered, and every discovery propels us deeper into the vast unknown. The Milky Way galaxy, our cosmic home, stretches across 100,000 light years and hosts over 100 billion stars, each varying in size, brightness, and temperature. Some stars are as small as Jupiter, while others dwarf entire solar systems. Dr. Mario Livio, an astrophysicist, remarks, the diversity of stars in the Milky Way is a testament to the complex and dynamic processes that govern stellar evolution. Stars form in massive clouds of gas and dust, mainly hydrogen and helium, which contract under gravity, heating up until nuclear fusion ignites and a star is born. This process, spanning millions of years, seeds the galaxy with stellar nurseries, beautifully illustrating Carl Sagan's reflection. The cosmos is within us. We are made of star stuff. Stars are born in regions known as molecular clouds, or stellar nurseries, where the density of gas and dust is significantly higher. These clouds can be enormous, some spanning over 100 light years across. Within these nurseries, pockets of gas and dust collapse under their own gravity, forming protostars. As these protostars gather more mass from their surroundings, their cores heat up to temperatures of millions of degrees, igniting nuclear fusion. This birth process can vary greatly depending on the mass of the forming star, with massive stars forming more quickly and burning their fuel at a much faster rate compared to smaller stars. A star's life cycle is a captivating journey from birth to death, filled with dramatic transformations. For billions of years, a star fuses hydrogen into helium in its core, releasing immense energy. This phase, known as the main sequence, can last billions of years. Our Sun, for example, has been in the main sequence for about 4.6 billion years and will remain there for another 5 billion years. As a star exhausts its hydrogen fuel, it expands into a red giant, with its outer layers ballooning outward while the core contracts and heats up, fusing heavier elements like carbon and oxygen. Red supergiants and hypergiants, like Betelgeuse and V.Y. Canis Majoris, represent the extreme end of this expansion. Betelgeuse, with a radius about 700 times that of the Sun, is a prime example. These stars are incredibly luminous outshining the Sun by tens of thousands of times. Hypergiants like WOH G64 are even more extraordinary. These stars not only have immense radii, but also undergo significant mass loss through powerful stellar winds. The rate of mass loss can be so high that hypergiants can shed a substantial fraction of their mass over relatively short astronomical timescales. This mass loss contributes to the complex and dynamic nebulae that often surround such stars, creating stunning cosmic vistas. Understanding the relationship between a star's mass and volume is essential. For instance, BAT 9998 is a behemoth with a mass 226 times that of the Sun, yet only 37.5 times its radius. This highlights that the largest stars by mass are not necessarily the most voluminous. This brings us to UY Scuti and Stevenson 2-18. Initially, UY Scuti was considered the largest known star, with estimates placing its radius at a staggering 1,300 times that of the Sun. However, later measurements revised its size to about 775 times the Sun's radius. Despite this, UY Scuti remains one of the largest stars ever discovered. In contrast, Stevenson 2-18 a red supergiant in the constellation Scutum boasts an estimated radius around 
2,150 times that of the Sun. Its immense size, extending beyond the orbit of Saturn if placed in our solar system, raises questions about the upper limits of stellar growth. Physical constraints such as radiation pressure and hydrostatic equilibrium set these theoretical limits, generally believed to be around 1,500 to 1,800 times the Sun's radius. Accurately measuring such colossal stars presents significant challenges. Even the largest stars appear as tiny points of light from our vantage point. Thick dust clouds often obscure these stars, making direct observation difficult. Instruments like infrared and radio telescopes are crucial for peering through the dust, though measuring light travel times and distances still poses uncertainties. For example, the initial overestimation of UI Scuti's size was due to incorrect distance calculations. Currently, the largest known star, WOH G64, is a true titan. Located in the Large Magellanic Cloud, this red hypergiant has a radius of approximately 1,540 times that of the Sun. If placed at the center of our solar system, it would extend beyond the orbit of Jupiter. Surrounding WOH G64 is a torus-shaped dust cloud about one light year in diameter, containing enough material to form nine solar systems. Astronomer Emily Levesque notes, the dust cloud around WOH G64 not only hides it from view, but also creates a complex interaction with the star's emitted light, challenging our measurement techniques. The potential for future discoveries in stellar astronomy remains immense. With advancements in technology, our ability to observe and measure these distant giants continues to improve. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, promises unprecedented resolution and sensitivity, especially in the infrared spectrum, allowing us to peer through dense dust clouds. The European Space Agency's Gaia mission and the extremely large telescope, ELT, will further revolutionize our understanding. The Square Kilometer Array, SKA, the world's largest radio telescope, will survey the sky at unprecedented speeds, detecting faint signals from the earliest galaxies. These advancements, combined with machine learning and AI, will sift through vast amounts of data, identifying patterns and anomalies that human eyes might miss. WOH G64 stands as a symbol of the limits of our current understanding. Its immense size and surrounding dust cloud encapsulate the mysteries and challenges of studying the largest stars. As technology advances, the potential for future discoveries grows, promising to unveil even more colossal wonders and deeper insights into stellar life cycles. The field of astronomy has seen monumental technological advancements in recent years, propelling our understanding of the universe to unprecedented heights. One of the most significant milestones is the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. With its 6.5-meter primary mirror and advanced suite of instruments, JWST offers a hundred times more sensitivity than its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope. This remarkable sensitivity allows it to peer through dense interstellar dust clouds and observe the formation of stars and planetary systems with unparalleled clarity. For instance, JWST's ability to capture infrared light is crucial for studying the cool, dusty regions where stars like WOH G64 reside. This capability not only helps in determining the sizes and compositions of these celestial giants, but also provides insights into the early stages of star formation. The European Space Agency's Gaia mission has also revolutionized our knowledge of the Milky Way by mapping the positions and motions of over a billion stars with extraordinary precision. This data is essential for understanding the dynamic processes that govern stellar evolution. Another groundbreaking project is the Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, currently under construction in Chile. With a primary mirror spanning 39 meters, the ELT will be the world's largest optical near-infrared telescope. Its unprecedented resolution will enable astronomers to directly image exoplanets, study the atmospheres of distant worlds, and delve into the mysteries of supermassive stars. According to the European Southern Observatory, the ELT's adaptive optics system will correct for the blurring effects of Earth's atmosphere, providing images 16 times sharper 
than those of Hubble. The Square Kilometer Array, SKA, an international effort to build the world's largest radio telescope, is set to further transform our understanding of the cosmos. With a collecting area of one square kilometer, the SKA will survey the sky thousands of times faster than current radio telescopes, detecting faint signals from the earliest galaxies and mapping the distribution of hydrogen in the universe. These advancements are not just about bigger and better instruments. They also involve sophisticated data analysis techniques. Machine learning and artificial intelligence are increasingly being used to sift through vast amounts of astronomical data, identifying patterns and anomalies that human eyes might miss. This integration of cutting-edge technology with traditional observational methods marks a new era in astronomical research, promising discoveries that were once beyond our reach. The cosmos holds endless mysteries waiting to be uncovered. With continuous advancements in technology, we are closer than ever to answering profound questions about our universe. Join us on this journey of exploration and discovery by subscribing to our channel, liking our videos, and sharing them with friends. Imagine discovering even larger stars or finding evidence of life on distant exoplanets. Your support helps us bring the latest updates and exciting findings from the world of astronomy. As JBS Haldane said, the universe is not only stranger than we imagine, but it is stranger than we can imagine. Together, we will explore the infinite, expanding our knowledge and fueling our fascination with the stars. Hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and share the awe and wonder of astronomy with the world. Let's explore the infinite together.